This is live in St. John. A lot of police here today. And we got these uh, unemployed people here. They're afraid of speech. Look at them. What's happening to Canada? We got to start asking questions. They hate speech. What's happened to our country? Look at them. This is not. This is not. The mayor doesn't want you. We don't want you. Nobody wants you. Go. Have you read the policies? NCA. Go home. I've seen your crap. Have you read the policies? I live here. Me too, and I serve my country. You're a freaking Nazi in disguise. Yeah, he, you think it's funny, eh? I live here. He grew up in St. John. Me too. I live here. Me too. What ideas? Tell us what ideas you're talking about. Yeah, that's all you got. We're not anti-immigration. You want to rescind hate speech law? So tell me, tell me how we're tell me how we're anti-immigration. Have you read your policy? Your policy is based on lies and conspiracy. You have no proof behind your. You want me to do it again? I got it. Okay. Test, test. Boys. No one here to listen to you Sign. that supports you. Signs all, all right, say, we'll they all say no hate, huh? Speak for yourself, sir. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Speak for yourself. No, you're not. Why are you afraid of free speech? Why do you got to blow your whistles? What are you afraid of? We're up your hate speech. What are you afraid of? We're standing up for our neighbors. We have, we have lots of immigrants and, and refugees that come here for better lives. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? We're actually saving our city from decline. Why can't you, you just talk? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of being called a racist? No one here but you. Just go be a bigot. Take your stuff and go. Yeah, you think it's funny being called a bigot. We got as much right to be here as you. Whatever. Well, we're leaving. Well, neither are we. That's a lost cause. There's no one Why won't you guys give us. We don't debate lies. We don't debate conspiracies. We don't make any truth. Thank you. Let's go. That's right. My, my fiance is an immigrant. There you go. So why are you calling us? So why are you calling me hate? Because you want to reduced immigration. 63% want. You're not the majority. The majority of Canadians want reduced immigration. Educate yourself. No, we're not. No, we're not. Huh? Are you First Nations? No. Because if you're not, you're an immigrant. No. Yeah, no. You are. No. You came here no. as somebody else. So, okay. Let's have a civil dialogue, okay? No, no scream. Yeah, I'm being civil. No, you came here okay. as somebody else. No, no swearing. No swearing. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll educate you. Sorry. Okay? <laughs> look, look up the term immigrant. Look up the term immigrant. Yeah, I know what it look is. Look up the term Okay, tell me. Tell me. Tell me what immigrant means. Yeah. All two of you, you're such a majority. A different country that is developed. A developed country. When my when my ancestors came here, Canada was not a country. Canada, Canada, Canada wasn't even Canada. So there you go. Okay, drop it. And, drop it. and you're supposed to be the educated one.
Just silence, right? The culture of censorship. No hate. The culture. No the culture of silence, here. right? <laughs> silence no those who you no disagree here. with. No That's here. what this is about. We, we love our immigrants. We love our immigrants. We got nothing wrong with the LGBTQ plus 68 community. You obviously haven't read your own flap over there. Test. Test, test. Okay. Trying to get it. Yeah, you want me to hold this? Yeah, yeah, hold, hold okay. this while I get it going. Okay. Test, test. Welcome, everyone, today. Welcome. You're not. We welcome your right to protest. We encourage you to go to the source. Go to the source, go look at NCA platform, look at their policies, nationalcitizensalliance.ca, go to the source, there's a lot of misinformation, a lot of misinformation, I'll give you an example, CBC was calling us anti-immigration policy, we disputed that, it took us seven times, we went through the ombudsman, it was retracted because they went into our policies and they said they couldn't back it up. There was nothing in our policy that was anti-immigration. That's false, fake information. Be very careful. This is about Canada, Canadians. That's what NCA is about, putting our people first. Putting our people, all Canadians, our veterans, our seniors, our single moms and dads, our unemployed, our homeless. That's what it's all about. Our first, our first nation. Our first nation. Standing up for our veterans, 3,000 to 5,000 veterans. We serve our country, put their lives on the line, or on the street. On the street. Why are you guys protesting that? That's what NCA is about. The police, the police here every day put their lives on the line for this country. Why are you protesting them? The veterans, no they didn't, they came from Central Command in Ottawa. It was a political decision tied to the federal government. The British in St. John apologized to us. They took a direct order from Central Command in Ottawa. NCA is very, has, has incredible policies for our veterans. Go on to our website at nationalcitizensalliance.ca and see them. There's a lot of misinformation. A lot of misinformation. NCA supports a reduction in immigration. A reduction which the majority of the Canadian people support. Why does that bother you? Why are you afraid of reducing something? Where are you from? Why? What's your problem? Where are you from? Doesn't matter. I'm Canadian. You're from Canadian. You're Canadian. We're all Canadian. You're Canadian. You're Why are you dividing? Why are you dividing? We're all Canadian here. You're not Why are you guys dividing? You're not a Canadian. This is Canada. This is Canada. You're a Nazi. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Go to the website. Prove it. Canada. Our future. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? Where's the censorship coming from? Where's the political correctness? Kick down anyone who challenges the status quo. Why? Where's this culture coming from? Our veterans died for our fundamental freedoms, which you are kicking away. Kicking away. It's wrong. This culture is wrong. The culture of political correctness, 
censorship, and I'll tell you, the silent majority of Canadians get it. They're fed up, and they're going to wake up. This is the majority? The silent majority of Canadians are going to wake up. The silent majority. They're going to wake up. You know that. So you can yell all you want. Where's your love, lady? Where's your love? I, all I see is hate. All I see is hate coming from you. Where's your love? Nothing but hate. It's sad. Sad reality. Sad reality. I know. You grew up in St. John. I grew up here. Is this the St. John you grew up in? Not at all. Not at all. What's no. going on in Canada? Let's start asking deep questions. What's going on? Back in the closet. No, not at all. It's wrong. That is false. That's false information again. That's false information. That's false fake information. I'm going to quote you. It's wrong. Go to the policy. Go to the policy. Ed series all about the Canadian people putting our people first. Prohibit schools and any other relevant organizations, institutions from exposing children to indoctrination to sexual identity theory, quote, in particular tolerance and any influence on sexual identity. You want exactly. LBGT kids thought, back in the closet it, and hidden. Your official statement off your official We don't support no. We don't support the indoctrination of children in the schools according to progressive sexual identity theory. That is wrong. Do you deny that statement? That is wrong. Do you deny that Leave it up to the parents to decide what their children know. The school should not be pushing that on children, five-year-olds. Yes, they are. That is wrong. Disgusting. That's wrong. We support the right of LGBTQ. We support the right, equal rights of them. We support freedom from harassment of them. Leave our children alone in the schools. Leave our children alone. Leave our children alone. Respect the family unit. That's right. Expect the right of parents to raise their children as they see fit. This institution should not be indoctrinating children. And that's what's going on. Yes, it is. It's going on in British Columbia. It's documented. This is wrong. It is wrong. What else do you have? What else do you have? Yeah, nice, nice. Just spew your hateful rhetoric. Hateful rhetoric. Hateful rhetoric. Off our streets. Nazi scum. Off our streets. Nazi scum. Off our streets. Go on, Nazis. Why do you think that? 
You're sad. You're not going to silence us. You're not going to silence us. Ain't going to happen. Welcome to Canada. Ain't going to happen. So much for intolerance. So much for dialogue. So much for... Consider it Canadian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all Canadian. Where is it? Where the hell where is it? Where is your love and tolerance? What's happening to Canada? Start asking questions. This would have never happened 30, 40 years ago. Never. This would have never been here. So, what's going on in Canada? Why is this happening? This is not the Canada we grew up with. Never. Never. We would ever thought it would devolve into this. This is crazy, ridiculous. It's sad. What has happened to my St. John? It's sad. Very sad. We're not ignorant. Read the policies. Read the policies. No, you have it. No, you have it. Read the policies. Crazy, crazy, man. Crazy. No, we're not. No, we're not. Not at all. You're nuts. You're nuts, buddy. Read the policy. Right, right. Right, right. Come on. So you don't support freedom of expression, eh? You're intolerant. You're hateful, right? Yeah. It's sad. Sad, 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 sad. 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 My parents are immigrants. So what's your problem? We want reduced immigration. Why are you reacting so strongly? Why? Why is this going on? Uh, it's crazy. I, I know. I don't know. It's why is it going on? Yeah, the media. It's the media. It's the media. Why story. is it going on? You're disgusting. Okay, right. Brain, okay. Brainwashed by the media. Disgusting. Let's shut it down. You want to shut it down? Uh, do you want me to turn, down, turn off the feed? No, keep it going. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, Jim, is it okay if we talk to the media people over there? They can talk to me. Okay, okay. to be in the Legion, and they canceled on us. They canceled it two days ago on us. Why, yeah. why did they cancel it? Uh, it came from Central Command in Ottawa. They didn't give us a reason. And uh, they had to take direct orders. We think it might be politically motivated. Yeah, it has anything to do with your policies? Maybe why these people are here? Uh, there's nothing wrong with our policies. We condemn uh, supremacy, racism, white nationalism, all that nonsense. So why do you think they're getting this type of reaction? It's from misinformation in the mainstream media, false information. For example, CBC was calling, calling me a member of WCAI for the last two years. We finally got the ombudsman to look into it, and CBC retracted it after looking into it. And that, and they were also calling us anti-immigration, and that was retracted after they looked at our policies. So, so you are, you are, you are. Your policy states that you're looking for a much more limited immigration in comparison to what we have Reduced immigration. Reduced yeah. immigration. Yeah. Well, what's your response when we just heard from the mayor who said, we need as much immigration as we can yeah. for this city in order for it to grow? We don't believe that. We don't believe that. There's a, we believe there's around 14% unemployed. They're being pushed aside. Why are we retraining them? So, well, Encouraging them to get back in the workforce. Well, how... It's only have, growing now. Where would you get information that the mayor's not getting on his own city? I don't know. You're going to have to ask him. But no, no, you. Where are you getting your information that the mayor doesn't have that says immigration is, is not necessary? That's here? his opinion. But we look at unemployment numbers. There's a growing number of Canadians unemployed. There's many seniors who are talented. Do you know the immigration numbers in, in St. John? I know them overall. I know the unemployment numbers. Okay. But in this in this city where you're arguing, there's high there's high unemployment in St. John. We know that for a fact. It's probably higher than the national average. So how would they, how would St. John grow its population outside of immigration? That's a mis that's a that's a false. There's a myth in society that Canada's natural population is declining. We looked at the numbers. We're actually growing naturally. 294 new Canadians per day naturally. That's what's happening. It's a, it's a, it's a truth. Uh, the but, but we're not against. We're not saying stop immigration. We want reduced numbers. Uh, there's 11 year backlog in immigration. There's a lot of mess with chain migration. There's illegal migration issues. We want a moratorium. And then we're going to go from there. Okay. Um, what can, are, are you getting used to this kind of reaction? It depends what area you in. Uh, you know, when we're in Alberta, we have a lot of support in British Columbia, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, parts of Ontario. Why do you think the East Coast is giving you this type of uh, reaction? You're going to have to, you know, we're going to, I can't answer that for sure. I don't live here. It's concerning. Uh, 
you know, we need to start, that's what I was saying. We need to start asking questions. Why is this going on? Because a lot, almost everything they're saying is false about us. Okay, so you come here and you're hoping to, to share your platform. How does it make you, you feel when you see this amount of people yelling at and calling you a Nazi? It's concerning. I, I think it's good we're here because we're exposing it. And we've got to start asking, why are these people feeling this way? What's causing this? This is highly intolerant, toxic environment. So what's causing it? How, how, how do you feel? We're strong at NCA. We believe in our vision, our leadership. I'm very disappointed. Uh, we believe in what we want to bring to Canada. So we're steadfast. I'm from St. John. I'm, I'm from St. John. And I, I cannot believe. My name is Adrian Bordes. Okay. Can you spell that? Adrian? A-D-R-I-E-N. -A Bordes. B-O-R-D-A-G-E. Okay. Uh, what makes you feel that you should wear a, a Make Canada Great Again hat? What's, uh, at what point do you think Canada wasn't great? Uh, Canada was great probably up until about maybe the 80s, early 90s. And uh, then I seen uh, uh, I seen a big a big change. Uh, we, uh, like right now, like uh, I'm, I'm I'm retired, okay, and uh, I can barely live I can barely live on my uh, I worked I worked for about 45 years of my life, well, actually no more like 50 years, and with my uh, my pension uh, my pension from from the school board I worked in the school board here in St. John, and uh, my uh, I'm collecting my. GPP, I can barely get by. Uh, we're being taxed to death. Uh, the, the government has got no concern whatsoever for the seniors that are that are struggling, the, uh, the veterans. Uh, it's just uh, I, I've seen a division where the the, the poor are getting poorer, the, the 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 richer are just getting richer. And you were just pushed out of a job because of, had, because of immigration. I, I work at a daycare center, and uh, I uh, uh, I was forced out. Uh, there's, uh, from what I understand, is there's a program that's being pushed by the government right now, where they they will approach big businesses, small businesses, and uh, they offer to uh, uh, they offer to uh, pay the, the wages for any new immigrants that they hire. They'll pay their wages for the first, I think it's three months or six months. Don't you know, I'm not quite sure. And uh, so where the daycare where I work at, I was uh, effectively forced out uh, because they started hiring all new immigrants. And uh, we got nothing wrong with immigrants. We, we have no problem Could with someone immigrants. someone watch your stuff? It's just that we, we feel like we just need to rain someone it down. Yeah. 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 A couple yeah. weeks ago, did I see, you. correct me if I'm wrong, did I see you at the legislature for uh, uh, climate change? No, it wouldn't have been me. No, no. Okay. no I'm, I'm I've never been in a, in a legislative okay, building. No, no. Where was that? I, I that? am not a politician. Yeah, make, for, uh, make Canada uh, Great uh, Again. That's a there. reference to yeah. obviously yeah. Trump. Yeah, you were there in uh, fragmentation. Would you say yeah. that the yeah. they did, it's got nothing to do with Donald Trump at all? Actually, Donald, he, Donald, Donald Trump is not even the first one to use that phrase. <laughs> uh, make, make America Great Again. Donald Trump is not even the first one that used so that. So this party has no, no alignment with the no, Trump. No, 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 no. This is all about Canadians. We have nothing to do with that. Yeah. You were yeah. in a yellow vest. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I thought I recognized. Yeah. 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 yeah we another, got a policy another, on that. Uh, that's another thing that we feel with that all this uh, hype about the you know the, uh, uh, the, the, the 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 imminent danger of climate change is is way much exaggerated. That's yeah, our right. opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank right. you, sir. Thank Have you a good guys. day. Take care. Open your heart, Where's the Places. school going? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think we should go down. Make it! Go! Make it! Right. Okay. Make it! No one's showing up! We're going to get out of here. Are you, oh, no, God. Are you still here? Are you moving? We're going to get our stuff and go. Okay. There's no point sticking around. Okay. We've done enough. Thank you. Sure. No one wants you on the street. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Make yourself go. Pack up your table and piss off. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, it wasn't stolen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think there's enough of people here. Is your police station around here? Or? Our police station is oh, that's Spot good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys yeah, got to have your lunch, so we'll go. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, crazy, I can't. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Well, hang on for a second. Okay, yeah, yeah. thank you. Take your stuff and go. There's no one here to listen to you. Who are you with Global? Sorry? You Pack with Global? Do yeah. you have a reporter? What's that? Where's your reporter? Take it's your me. stuff and go. You want to talk? No one wants to talk no, to you. Okay. No one you don't want to hear the other you. side? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I familiarized myself with your guys' platform and your ideas already. So uh, that's okay. to go have it's good to get both sides, right? Yeah, there's a thing called balance rather than getting both sides of the story that I tell you. Really? Yeah. Global's been really biased, hey? Have we? Yeah. No, they no, don't no, even no, consult no, our opinion. You know, we see it, so. It's not very objective. So, it's good to get both sides of the story. No one wants to be to you. Balance and two sides of the story are very different. Well, how do you reconcile objectivity? How, how can you have balance when there's no objectivity? Listen to your crap. Yeah. Right. Go to Alex Jones and Infowars. That's what you want to do. Yeah, he's with Yeah, he's with Global. They don't want to. They don't want to talk. They don't want to hear the other side. Thank you, sir. Oh my God! Yeah. My ears yeah. are still ringing. Yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah. So I think it's pretty curated now with the yelling. Yeah, it has. I know. Yeah. You see that? So if you guys. Are